Good work, tissues. Could I please have a report from all other tissues and organs which are providing anatomical barriers and antimicrobial chemicals to prevent the entry of microbes into the body? One of the defenses which we have against microbes is our ability to flush them away. Just get rid of them. That's what we can do. Now, I can do the extreme where I can induce vomiting or diarrhea, and this will flush microbes out of the body. There are also less dramatic ways of doing this. Perspiration from the skin, urine passing through the urethra, lacrimal gland secretions passing over the eye, saliva passing over the oral cavity, and other secretions can help flush microbes away. So this is one of the ways which we help to cleanse our body of microbes. The stomach isn't the only part of the body where acids help to prevent infection. Here in the vagina, acid is pr produced as well, thanks to the secretions of the cervix. The microbes which normally inhabit the vagina, the normal flora of the vagina, they metabolize these cervical secretions to produce acids. And these acids help to inhibit the growth of microbes which, which are pathogenic. If the vagina were not to possess this acid, say, after a woman who took antibiotics found that the microbes which produce these acids had been inhibited, under these conditions, some infections like a yeast infection might follow, just showing how important this acid is for the protection of the vagina. The sweat which we make from the skin is very salty, no? And salt inhibits microbial growth. So the salt we put in sweat then inhibits microbial growth on the skin. Lysozyme is an enzyme which helps to destroy the cell walls of bacteria. We put it in our saliva and in our tears. And so, although these secretions seem innocent, they are deadly to microbes because they help to rip apart their cell walls with this lysozyme. I can assure you, as a connective tissue, that our ground substance, which contains much of this syrupy hyaluronic acid, is very difficult for microbes to pass through. And so if a microbe were to get inside the body, they find it very difficult to spread because of how syrupy and thick this ground substance is. I, a molecule of transferrin, I bind iron. And so, therefore, iron is very difficult for microbes to encounter, and thus this limits their growth, because I bind the iron and hide it from them. Hello, I am a fibroblast. Now, I sure hope that I never get infected with a virus. But if I do, well, as I lay dying, I will make proteins known as interferons. And interferons will serve as a warning to all of my neighbors that they should start making antiviral proteins as a defense. So interferons are an antiviral protein. Great work, body. It sounds like this plethora of anatomical barriers and antimicrobial chemicals will prevent most microbes from even entering our body. Great work.